Agriculture is one of the most dangerous occupations in Ireland. There were a total of 191 farm fatalities between 2014 and 2023. Every year, there are an average of 20 fatal accidents on farms, with approximately 2,800 incidents occurring on a yearly basis. In 2023, 16 people lost their lives in farming-related accidents, accounting for 37% of all workplace fatalities. However, farmers only account for 6% of the total workforce. Farm accidents can have devastating consequences for both the farmer and members of the farm family, including tragedy, pain, suffering, lifelong disability, loss of independence, and mental health issues. Understanding the dangers involved and having appropriate knowledge of how to protect yourself against the dangers is the first step to reducing farm accidents. Today we're here in UCD Lions Farm to discuss machinery and vehicle safety and good practice with Dr. Sinead Flannery of UCD. Hi Sinead. Hi Robert, how are you? Not too bad in yourself. Good thanks. Super. So Sinead, we have a tractor here and we're going to talk a little bit about the key considerations around working with machinery safety. What are the main things to remember when working with machinery? Yeah, so I guess when you're first getting up into the cab of a tractor, it's important to make sure that the cab itself is clear so that there's um, clear visibility out both sides and the front and the back of the tractor, but then also that there's no debris or anything left on the floor of the tractor itself. Then you're looking at making sure that you're checking your mirrors, so make sure they're in the right position for you, but also that they're clean and that you can see out of the mirrors clearly as well. Um, after that, you're checking your lights, indicators and wipers are working. Make sure that your brakes are fully functioning and check that the handbrake as well is um, fully operational. Um, and then it's also important to make sure that you're oiling the tractor frequently and greasing any um, points on the tractor or implements that need to be greased then as well. Um, beyond that then, when you're up in the cab, it's important to remember that um, there's blind spots associated with the tractor, so there might be pedestrians on the ground that you might not be able to see. Um, and then also if you have an implement like a slurry tanker or a fertiliser spreader that, that uses a PTO, that there's lots of considerations around the PTO that's very important then as well. Super. So you've just mentioned a PTO there. We might go around to the back of the tractor and have a little bit more of a discussion about it. Yeah, great. So Sinead, we're at the back of the tractor here. We have a slurry tanker connected up and with it, the PTO. You might go through some of the things to consider when working with PTO implements. Yeah, so um, this here is your PTO guard. So inside that you've got the PTO shaft and that spins at excessively high speeds. So the risk with this is entanglement. Um, so you need to make sure that this guard is in place. It's not cracked, it's not broken. Um, you also need to make sure that you've got your O-guard here on the uh, piece of machinery that's connected, but also again to make sure that that's not cracked or broken. And up here on the back of the tractor then you've got your U-guard. So it's to ensure that that's fully intact and in place and again that it's not bent or broken. On the PTO guard itself then as well, you've got your two safety chains, so you need to make sure that they're both uh, connected twice on both ends um, to make sure that the guard itself is kept in place. So as I said, the shaft that's inside this guard spins at excessively high speeds, so it's really important when you're working with this piece of equipment that you're not wearing any torn um, clothing or loose clothing, and in particular those hoodies with the drawstrings are um, particularly dangerous because when you lean in and the strings hang down, they can get caught. Super Sinead. So you, we mentioned earlier a little bit about blind spots. We might go and talk a little bit further about those. Yeah. So Sinead, we're at the front of the tractor here and you talk a bit about blind spots. You might take us through those blind spots. Yeah, so a blind spot is where the visibility for the driver is reduced or impaired when they're up in the cab. So it's again to remember as a pedestrian that the uh, driver might not always be able to see you. So things that can reduce the visibility for the driver and create these blind spots are your two front pillars, um, the likes of the exhaust, the high mud guards, um, the window bars, etc. There's other ones. And then also the piece of machinery connected on the back is also going to create blind spots for the driver as well. So it's just to remember that just because you can see the driver from the ground, it doesn't mean that the driver can see you and the driver needs to be aware of that um, as well. Also, if you're working closely with the driver, um, if you can't see them, they certainly can't see you. So it's just to be aware that these blind spots do exist and you don't have full visibility around the whole tractor or the piece of machinery that's connected. And so Sinead, we've talked about the key considerations around working machinery and how to operate around them safely. What are your key take home messages for students going out working on farms? So it's to think safety first, so on, before you undertake any job it's to think how you go about it safely and to change that culture around safety. So from what we've seen today it's to make sure that your cab is in good working condition, make sure your brakes are working, your lights, wipers, mirrors and um, clear visibility. 
then if you're using a piece of machinery that requires the PTO, it's making sure that all those guides are in place. And if any of those are cracked or broken, again, you don't undertake that job. And finally, then around the blind spots, knowing that if you're the driver up in the cab, you don't have full, full visibility the whole way around. And also if you're the pedestrian on the ground, to be aware that the driver may not be able to see you. Super, thanks a million, Sinead.